Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my makeup collection and storage video for 2020. I wanted to film an updated one because it's been a few years since my last video. So today I want to go through all of my makeup and show you my updated collection. If you like these type of videos, please give it a big thumbs up, it really does help out my channel. YouTube haven't been pushing up my videos for quite some time now, so if you guys could help me by liking the video and sharing it, I will be so highly appreciative of that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notifications also to be notified of all my future videos, and let's get through to the video. I have quite a small bedroom, so to make this work I have all of my units and my makeup collection along this back wall with the silver wallpaper and it's next to the TV bed on the left hand side. So my room's quite small but eventually I am going to be redecorating and I can film a bedroom tour video but for now it's just next to the TV bed. So if you move over here all the way to the right I have this little wicker unit here. I have all of my contact lenses for like SFX videos and stuff like that, hair clips, um, bits and bobs like miscellaneous stuff in that so it's more like just bits and bobs that I need and contact lenses that sort of thing. Next to that little unit here is just some plastic drawers with my like pyjamas and stuff like that in them. The bottom drawer here I have some hair dryers, clips, some laptop leads, USB ports and then on top of my unit here I have a black case here and this vanity case holds all of my SFX makeup for special effects looks on my channel which I love filming. I have filmed a separate video on what's in this kit so I will link that down below so I'm not going to be showing you what's inside this one today because I've already filmed a separate video for that. These are my Hollywood vanity lights. I love this light up mirror. This is so amazing. This was definitely an investment because it's quite a pricey item but I absolutely love this and I adore it so much. And this definitely makes my collection without this. I feel like it wouldn't look so put together. This is just amazing. It's really large and very, very heavy too. I have filmed a separate video unboxing this item and then putting it all together and linking it. Again, I will link that video down below in the description box if you're interested in finding out where I bought this. On the side of the mirror down here, there is a dimmer so you can dim the lights and bring it all the way down and that's what it looks like without the lights on. So on my vanity I have a little mirror that I can pull onto the table over here and do my close-up makeup if I need it but it is broken so I do need to get a replacement one. I have this acrylic brush holder from Zoeva which I got off Beauty Bay. It's a really good quality acrylic unit and it holds all my brushes. So it has two compartments here for eye brushes and then two large ones for face brushes. And then next to that I have this beautiful frame from my cousin Emma for my birthday. She customised this for me and it's so sweet and beautiful so I have to keep this here in my vanity because it's just so pretty and yeah it's just a very sentimental piece for me. So this unit here is the IKEA Alex drawers and I have the wide version. Eventually I want to get the Alex 9 drawers which are the tall ones but for now I have the wider version. So in the very first drawer of this unit I have all of my face products. The very first thing I want to mention is this little white drawer here. This is one big section, it has three big units here, one large one and another small one here. This itself is from Ikea also which again I will link down below. Another thing about these Alex drawers I love is that because it's wider you can put things down flat and see exactly what you've got. For this very first section here I have a bunch of glitters in the back for certain looks that I want to do. I have some sequins as well. I have quite a few lashes. I love these ones from Jess Wright Beauty. These are from Poundland, believe it or not, but they're actually really good, as well as these Fern McCann ones. So I've got quite a few of these lashes. These are my favourite go-to. I have a couple of lashes in here, dramatic ones from eBay for like SFX or costume makeup looks. Underneath that I have a pair of false nails. These are the Beauty and the Beast ones from Primark. In here I keep all of my eyebrow products. This is the Freedom Brow Pomade and I have the Anastasia Brow Pomade. I love both of them, they work just as good as each other. I also have this eyebrow cake from Illamasqua in the shade Stark, which has a nice little mirror and a brow product. You can get this wet if you want to because it's an eyebrow cake or you can use it dry. Next to that I have a couple of these eyebrow sets. These are both from Benefit. I have the Spreed Brow and the Guinea Brow. I also have a clear mascara from MUA but it's not so clear anymore because I do use it for my eyebrows to set them. I have the Catrice Eyebrow Lifter which you can use as a highlighter. This product here is the Power Brow from MUA which is the Luxe Collection. 
So it has the tiny eyebrow filler here and you also get the eyebrow lifter which is another highlighter. I have a tiny Avon eyebrow pencil, I've used quite a lot of this one. I have the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil, one of my favourites, it's a really nice slim pointed one so it's really nice for precision work and then I have the eyebrow lifter from MUA as well. Moving on to this section, these are all of my face powders. So I have the Revolution Bacon Finish Loose Powder. I do like this powder but it does give a slight flashback so I need to get another one. I have one from Wet n Wild which is the Photo Focus Press Powder, the MAC Studio Fix, I have the Pure Minerals, the Catrice Powder, ELF, Maybelline Fit Me, two of them. I have the Makeup Gallery and a Stila Press Powder. In here I keep a bunch of primers, concealers, stuff like that. So I have two of these LA Girl Pro Concealers. I'm running out so I do need to buy backups of these. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, the PS Illuminating Concealer and the CC Corrector Concealer. I have the Soap & Glory Kick Ass Concealer. This is quite old, I've had it a few years, but it's one of my favourites. I have a little setting powder translucent and then the two creams underneath. I have the Benefit Lemonade Eye Primer. I have the Freedom Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. I have two paint pots here from MAC, one in Painterly and one in Stormy Pink. I have the Stila Smudge Pot in Kitten, one of my favourites. This is the Illamasqua Under Eye Concealer and then I have a bunch of colour correctors from MUA. In the back here I have primers and setting sprays, the PS Hydrating Mist and the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. We also have the Frido Pro Studio Priming Water. I have the Benefit Professional, which is a blotting balm and it's really good for pores. Freedom Pro Studio Strobe Cream. The PS Perfect Glow Primer. I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin, which is a really old one, but I love that. The Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. A bunch of primers from MAC, which are the Natural Radiance and the Skin Base Massage. And down this side here I have a little bit of space so I thought I'd put some lashes and tools down here. So I have my eyelash curlers, a couple of these false lash applicators, some mini scissors to trim some lashes. I have my magnetic eyelashes in here which are these are the dramatic ones from eBay, I recently reviewed them. And I have two more magnetic lashes in here from Belle Chloe, these ones are a little bit more natural. And then moving on to the second drawer. This one is all of my eyeshadow and eye products. I have an acrylic tray here. This is from Ferrero Rocher, one of the big chocolate sets. And in there I keep all of my glitter products. So I have the E Unique Beauty Glitter Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Valentine's Day collection. It's absolutely stunning. And I also have this palette from them too, which is the Me, Myself and I Glitter Eyeshadows. This one you can customise and pick any of the glitters you want in any order. So I chose these three. I have a couple of liquid glitters. These are like the Stila ones but these are from Primark they're really good. I also have the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette which is these glitter eyeshadows so stunning. Again this acrylic case is from Ferrero Rocher the chocolates. This houses all of my liquid eyeliners and my pencil liners. I'm using this little cardboard container which I've forgotten where I've got it from now but I like to keep boxes and products and stuff because I can reuse them for storage. In here I keep all of my mascaras. Again this whole tray section here is an actual spice rack from Ikea in the kitchen section but this holds my pigments really well so I have a bunch of these colour tattoos from Maybelline I've got four of them I have the Revolution Pro which is a pigment pomade and this one is in the sky blue colour I've got two of these Primark pigment eyeshadow bases these are really good too I have the Kylie Cosmetics Snow Gel Liner. I have a MAC Gel Liner, and then I also have a Gel Liner from LA Girl. And then I have a couple of these MAC pigments down below here. These are the L'Oreal Pressed Pigments. I have one from Sleek. These two are from e.l.f. And then all of these little pigments are from Barry M. These are the Dazzle Dusts. Continuing on, I have a bunch of these eyeshadow pencils from NYX. These are the Jumbo Eye Pencils. I love these. I also have the Kiko Eyeshadow Duo Stick in gold and like a greeny gold colour. Then down here I keep my drugstore eyeshadows. I have the Alice in Wonderland Face and Eye Palette from Primark. This is the Sleek Midsummer's Dream Palette. I have the Unique Moodstruck Eyeshadow Palette Addiction 1. This is the PS Precious Metals Collection. 
and it comes with some eyeshadows, a bronzer, highlighter, two lip colours here and these eyeshadows are so pigmented. I have a MAC Duo eyeshadow here, that shouldn't be in there actually, that should be in the high end section. And then I also have my Deck of Scarlet palette, eyeshadows at the top, a bronzer, a blush and some liquid cream lipsticks on the side. This is one of the first editions. Two more from Deck of Scarlet. I have this one, I can't remember which edition this was, but this has a really nice pretty purple colours, highlighter and a blush. And this one from them also has like a silver smoky vibe going on with a purple lip colour. On the side here I have some MUA palettes. And then finally I have two palettes from NYX. One is the Natural and the Sex Bomb palette. This is one of my favourite drawers because it's all highlighters and I love highlighters. My collection is slowly growing. I have the MAC Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the really nice rose gold packaging. This again is one of my favourite ones and it's got the little snowflake in it. I try not to use it too much. I don't want to ruin the imprint. I have the e.l.f. Heart Defensor Highlighters. These ones are so pretty and I like to mix them together to make that really nice rose gold glow. I also have this limited edition face compact from MAC and this is from the Nutcracker Sweet collection. These two colours again are so pretty, it has a really nice pattern on, I try not to use it but it's so pretty. And then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in that glow. And then one of my newest purchases is this from MAC, this is the Ignite Wonder Face Palette with some really pretty highlighters and a couple of blushy highlighters too. I managed to get this off Depop. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Again, one of my favourite highlighters from them. Some really gorgeous shades, pinky toned. I have a drugstore highlighter from Sleek. This one is actually really pretty with a cream highlighter and then some powders. In the back I have a bunch more drugstore highlighters. This is the PS Strobing Kit from Primark. Two of these little palettes from I Love Makeup. I have the Bronzing Glow and the Lighten Glow. I have the Afterglow highlighter from Urban Decay. This one is in the shade Sin. I have two in the back from Ted Baker. Some really stunning glow palettes. I have my three highlighters from MAC in here, I have the original Soft and Gentle and then two of the Extra Dimension Skin Finishes in Double Gleam which this one is like a yellowy toned highlighter and then this one is Beaming Blush which is more of a pinky rose goldy pink colour. Moving on to this section I have the Bare Minerals highlighter which I got for Christmas, I haven't tried this one yet so I'm going to be trying that one very soon. I've got the Mary Luminizer from The Balm, one of my favourites. I also found this little one on Depop and it's one of my favourites again, this is the Bobbi Brown. This is the Highlighting Powder Touche Eclat in the shade Telluride, which is again a really nice pink rose goldy colour, I'm really happy with this find. I have the MUA Luxe Glow Beam Liquid Highlighter Cushion and then I have the infamous Becca Shimmer and Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. This one is a little bit broken so I do need to press that again. In the back here I have the MUA Luxe Strobe and Glow Highlighter highlighting kit. comes with a really nice highlighting powder and then a highlighting cream on the bottom. And then I have a bunch of these LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powders. This is 100 watt which is the golden shade. This is 120 watt which is the white highlighter. And this is the 90 watt and this one is more pink toned. Moving on to this section, these are my cream highlighters. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Slim Light. This is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pot version. I have the Benefit Fine One One which is a blush, corally shade and a highlighter stick. I have the Benefit What's Up highlighter stick as well and the Mini High Beam and then I have the PS Strobing Pencil and also a highlighter stick from Primark but this one's a little bit broken and melted. This drawer is filled with my bronzers and my blushes. This acrylic unit here I got from eBay. Again, I will link everything down below. This is the Mariah Carey Limited Edition one. And it's such a beautiful golden bronzer. But it's a bit too golden for me, so I like to keep it anyway for my collection. But it's got Mariah's little face imprinted inside. This is another collection, but I can't remember what the collection was. I think it was something tribe, but I can't remember. This is the Studio Sculpt Defining Bronzing Powder in Golden Rinse. 
which is a really nice matte with a slight little bit of shimmer. And then I also have the Mineralize Skin Finish in Cheeky Bronze. This is the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer and I also have the Accessorize Bronzer with the Milani Glimmer Stripes Bronzer and the Makeup Gallery Bronzer as well. This tray here is a silver glitter lid and it's from the Soap and Glory set which I got one Christmas and I just like to use this again in my containers. So I tend to keep all of my boxes. The MUA Bronze and Sculpt Contour Kit so you do get a highlighting pad on top and then a contour shade underneath. On the bottom here I have my NARS Laguna which is very well loved. I have my Freedom Pro Contour Kit which I use in nearly every single video at the minute. I also have the old school Bourjois Bronzing Powder and this one is the Chocolate Soleil Powder. And then I have the Benefit Hula. These are where I keep all of my powder blushes. This little acrylic case I got from eBay. The first one here is my NARS blush in Gina. I have two powder blushes from NYX. I have a cream blush from Pure Minerals and the Essence Silky Touch Blush. And these ones here are all from Sleek Cosmetics. And then all these blushes here are from MAC. This might be the Rinse Wash and Dry collection, I can't remember, but it's a while back. And this is the Crisp White Powder Blush. This again is the same collection as that bronzing powder, but I can't remember which one it was. It might be Vibe Tribe. And this is Modern Mandarin. This one is from the Mariah Carey collection and this one is a really pretty pink shade called Sweet Sweet Fantasy. This one's called Style. This one here is called Dame. This one is Breath of Plum. This one is Pink Swoon. This one is Trace Gold and this one is gingerly. Moving next to that, I have another one of them acrylic drawers from eBay. I have a bunch of powder blushes here from Iramasca. I have the Catrice Multicolor Blush, and then two blushes from Urban Decay Afterglow. One is a really nice natural color, and then one is bright pink. And then I have the Milani Baked Blush as well in Dulce Pink. Again, this lid here is also from a Soap and Glory set. I have a box blush from Benefit, which is the Bella Bamba, and I also have the Sugar Bomb. This one is from Soap and Glory, which is the Glow All Out, pink peachy toned, and the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette, really stunning colours. The fourth drawer down, I like to keep all of my makeup bags. These three bags here are from MAC. I have a nice black glittery one. This is from the Nutcracker Sweet Collection. And then this is from the recent Christmas collection. I have the Kendall and Kylie bag and another one here. I also have a Revlon bag, one from Zoella. I have my YSL bag here as well. And then I also have this one, which was from Pure Minerals. So this is the fifth and last drawer. I have a little wicker basket here and then some acrylic storage. Again, these two acrylic ones are from B&M. In this side down here, I have a mud face mask. I also have the Primark Aladdin Glitter Peel Off Mask as well. And then I have a Soap and Glory Sheets Mask. I have some hair removal cream and the Clinique Body Wash. I have the Righteous Butter from Soap and Glory. Some breath spray and the MAC face protect lotion. Right in the back down here I have the Garnier Hydrate and Soothe Rose Water Day Cream and the Garnier Oil Control Vanishing Cream and a Nivea Day Cream. I have a little bath bomb in here for when I want to use it and I have the Zoella Wonder Hand Cream which is really nice. I have my Smile Brilliant Teeth Trays and an Anti-Wrinkle Cream. And in this section I have my tanning lotion and my tanning stuff. So I like to use this when I'm tanning and it's the Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life which is a really nice one, it's not too harsh. They have two of these St. Moritz tanning mousses, one in medium and one in dark. And then at the back I have the Dove Summer Glow Moisturiser which is also a medium to dark skin. So this is like a developer which helps top up your tan. So I like to moisturise with this one during the week. 
I like to keep my fluffy rug right next to the bed and my vanity so that when I'm doing my makeup it's really nice and soft. Underneath I have my makeup artist train case from Zuka which I like to use for all my makeup clients. I have done a separate video on this as well so again I'll link that down below. So this is the IKEA Mom vanity and to customise it a little bit because it does come with a glass top and just white I put a marble top sticker underneath the glass just to make it a little bit different. In this drawer I like to keep all of my high-end eyeshadow palettes. Down here I have the Urban Decay Build Your Own palette which you can just pop in some eyeshadows. So, so far I have three in there. I also have the Mini Urban Decay Shadow Box palette. In the back I have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Color palette and the Makeup Geek collaboration with Manny MUA which is this one. I have the Zoeva Cocoa Blend eyeshadow palette this one is really beautiful and I have the Tarte Tees palette, this is just a mini one, again I got this from Depop. In the back I have the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, you've seen me use this a lot, it's really beautiful. In the back I have the Violet Voss palette, this is the Holy Grail and again one of my most loved eyeshadow palettes. This one is by Julia's Place, the Saharan. I have the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette and also the Naked 2 Palette. I have the Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And then last but not least I have the Stila in the Light Palette. And then down in this section I have this little notepad which I like to keep video ideas for SFX and beauty makeups, so I have some ideas here for a couple of makeup looks that I have planned. I've got three hairbrushes down here and then in these little MAC jars I just keep things like my lens cap, hair ties, pens, hair clips, that sort of thing. And then I have this white shelving unit which I got from eBay. On top of the shelf I like to keep a candle, one of my big bags and then a dry gin bottle which has got my surname on which I got for Christmas from Dad and Joe. So on this first shelf I like to keep some palettes, I have my MAC single shadows in here and I also have my Makeup Geek single shadows as well. I have one of these little acrylic units here which I got given from my Nan and in the front here I keep all of my foundations. So I have a bunch in here, some from MAC from Urban Decay, from Primark, Wet n Wild, New Look and Maybelline. And I also have the MAC Cleanse Off Oil and some MAC glitters and pigments in the front here. I have my Pandora gift bag and some books on the side. Moving down to the second shelf. Moving down to the second shelf I have a couple of packaging boxes here that I couldn't throw out. FM Perfume that I recently reviewed and for the MAC Highlighter Palette. I have two Ted Baker nail polishes and a couple of my everyday lip liner pencils, some from MAC, Primark, Barry M, NYX. In the front here I have some mini perfumes from Gucci, I have a Lipsy perfume in the back and then some Ted Baker perfumes. And then this is the Huda Beauty lip tin which I really do love so I've kept that on top. Again this acrylic unit is from eBay. I have some Pandora boxes and my Chanel box and a little Chanel bracelet and on the bottom shelf I have my little J light up signature that my mum got me there for my birthday a little light up photo box on top I have my vintage Estee Lauder loose powder this is really vintage and discontinued but this is more of a display item as well and then I have my Muji 5 draw acrylic unit which I like to keep all of my liquid lipsticks and my lip glosses in in the very top here I like to keep all of my MAC cream sheen glasses and some from a limited edition collection second drawer these are my high end liquid lipsticks some from Urban Decay, from Ilan Masca, Too Faced, MAC, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Dose of Colours, Huda Beauty and Deck of Scarlet. Third one down is my drugstore liquid lipsticks. I've got Chi Chi, W7, these are misguided, NYX, this is from eBay, this one is from Bare Minerals, these are the NUA Luxes and that's a Barry M. And this one's from New Look and Revolution. Fourth drawer down I have more of my drugstore lip crayon and pencil type lipsticks. 
These two are lip glosses, but they're metallic ones from MUA Lux. I have a Revolution shiny metallic lip gloss. I have another lip gloss from Revolution. This is the Deck of Scarlet lip liner and lip pencil. I have some Primark crayon lipsticks here. Some more from Primark, but these are two metallic ones. And then these are the matte lipstick crayons from Primark. And then one Revlon lip balm. And then the bottom here, I have a bunch of lip liner pencils. Disney Alice in Wonderland lipstick trios and a sharpener. I have a picture of me and Ian and my beauty sponge from Real Techniques. Moving on, I have this vintage looking mirror which I found from a car boot sale and I absolutely fell in love with it and I only got it for a pound because the crack in the bottom of the mirror here but you can't really see that if I cover it up so I had to get that. I have an acrylic lipstick holder with my high-end lipsticks so I have YSL here, my Elizabeth Arden, Estee Lauder, MAC and another YSL lipstick. And then next to it here I have my acrylic lipstick tower which spins which is amazing. I got this from eBay. I have my limited edition MAC lipsticks on top. A bunch of MAC lipsticks down the side. Barry M, Benefit, Christian Dior, Urban Decay, MUA, Revlon, Barry M. Milani, Revlon again, Primark, I have a bunch of lipsticks in that. So that was everything in my makeup collection and storage video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be notified of all my future videos. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys.